Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day everyone and welcome to another segment of On the Bench. Here today I'm going to tie you up a Kamloops Caddis Pupa. This is a pattern originated by Brian Chan. He's uh, developed uh, a lot of great lake patterns over the years and uh, contributed so much to our sport so thanks Brian for that. I'm changing out a few materials here from that uh, what you may see from the original pattern and uh, I'm just getting some an order out the door so I'll just show you while I got my materials ready and I'll demonstrate how I do it. Just a little variation from what I seen of Brian's but uh, uh, basically the same same fly for sure not that it's improved in any any way shape or form all right, to, to start, we're going to use a size 10. I use a curved nymph hook. It's a size 10. We're going to be using some 6 aught olive thread. I'm going to be using some Uni Mylar Peacock color. It's a size 16. It's very small for the rib. Uh, the body remains the same, Arizona Synthetic Peacock in the Peacock color. It's a great coloration for that. You can go to different colors to match but use that synthetic peacock and instead of peacock curl and the thorax and the head I just use the ice dub and the peacock color. The um, wing case instead of the ring neck pheasant I'll just use some of this as golden pheasant and I use that for wing casing because that uh, fibers I don't care for as much for body materials as I like the ring neck so I save that for that. And uh, the legs, instead of the ring neck pheasant, I used to tie that over and fold it back. Now I use these, uh, these are rump, pheasant rump feathers here, and get a long, nice uh, uh, fibers, really nice and soft, they look great. So let's get a uh, hook in the vise, tie one of these caddis pupa up. See those big sedge coming off, this is the one you want to fish. Um, Sometimes a guy can be into the dry fly fishing and if not make sure you're fishing subsurface. There's lots of action going on there and they'll, it's a big meal for trout. So I'm going to come back here. My tie-in point is going to be right at the point, the hook. Right at the very end, not at the point of the barb. I'm tying it ahead a little bit. Now I'll grab some of my tinsel. I'll tie it. There's one side orange, the other side peacock and I'll tie that orange up. So I have the peacock showing through for the rib. I get my Arizona synthetic peacock dub here for the body. You don't have rotary vise like this. Use dubbing loops, dubbing wax, whatever you. Get a nice, get my dubbing on here. Get my Ribbing material out of the way. I'll come in about one third and I taper my body forward a little bit. And then we'll just get some nice wide turns of the rib. Going forward. And I, I like to have some of these fibers sticking out. I just preen them all back. When they get in the water, they get wet, they, they they look good. They just bring a lot of life to the pattern. They trap a little air. Put your thumbnail against there. You're not going to damage anything. And just preen them back. Just looks nice and buggy in the water. Okay, and then we'll come in for a little slip of this pheasant. If you don't have that feather, use a regular ring neck, that's fine. I'm just showing you what I have available and what I got going on here. So about two-thirds for the body, one-third for the thorax. Then I'm bringing in the uh, peacock ice dub. I use this a lot. And I like to come in here. This is pretty buggy. And uh, A little bit loose there. I'm just going to come ahead and build myself a nice thorax. I got a tying off area. I got lots of room behind my eye to work with there. Then we'll uh, take it 
Take the wing case over. Cut it back. That looks good. Take a bodkin or a little brush or whatever and I'll just pick out a little bit of this peacock. Original pattern had uh, angel hair for the throat. Just pick a little bit of that peacock and it gives you the same, pretty much the same effect. Now, like I said, your little change, Brian might even be using this, I don't know, I'm not sure, I haven't asked him. But uh, I like using these rump feathers here. And you notice there's, there's some shorter ones, longer ones in there. Just take a, a pinch of that, make sure you got enough long ones, and then you can just pull the little guys out. The nice, nice thin little fibers. Instead of two on each side, I might have four, five, it doesn't matter. They're pretty thin. There's a decent little clump right there. Time so the tips are of body length. They get tied down. I'll tie this back so these butts will be easier to deal with. My thread. And then when I come over, instead of doing the peacock curl, I just put a big head of with my thread on here. Get the legs folded back. There's another little couple little guys in there. I see the little one pointing out. Right there, you can pick that off pretty easy. There. And that gives a nice little legs. Those will swim a little bit too. And uh, we'll finish that off. And I like to come in here with some solar res. Use some thin bone dry is what I'm using. A little light coat on the thread. Throw a little on the wing case. You don't have to do the wing case if you don't want to. And just cure that up. It's a great pattern and uh, it works great. It's You're in the, the caddis fishing. It's uh, one of the most exciting times to be sitting on a lake. You're going to want to make sure when you're retrieving this, these insects are traveling about an angle like that up to hatch. So you want to make sure your, your line and your leader is basically at that angle before you start retrieving your fly. You'll be a lot more successful than uh, bringing it across horizontal. So thanks again for Brian Chen uh, creating this great pattern. <clears throat> You'll probably see Brian on our website. Um, you can go check out. There's hundreds of fly patterns being tied on there for fresh and salt water. And uh, also lots of TV shows. So if you haven't become a member yet, it'd be a great time to do so. You've got uh, lots of winter, lots of things to check out. you get a great resource there for you. Don's got it all, all on his website. So thanks again for watching. We'll catch you again real soon in sport fishing on the fly.